damage to the body's tissues through heat, chemicals, sunburn, cuts, or microbial infections triggers a general, nonspecific defensive response called inflammation. Signs and symptoms of inflammation include redness, pain, heat, swelling, and sometimes loss of function. Inflammation has three main functions, to destroy the agent causing injury, to limit the effects of the agent on the rest of the body, and to repair or replace damaged tissue. Damaged cells release several chemicals, such as histamines, prostaglandins, and leukotrienes. Certain components of the complement system can also stimulate the release of histamines. One function of these chemicals is to cause vasodilation, an increase in the diameter of blood vessels. Vasodilation results in more blood, and therefore more phagocytes, oxygen, and nutrients, being delivered to the site of injury. This increased blood flow results in redness, heat, swelling, and some of the pain associated with inflammation. The increased blood flow delivers phagocytes, such as monocytes and neutrophils, to the scene. The phagocytes stick to the walls of the blood vessels in a process called margination, then squeeze through the gaps between the cells in a process called emigration or diapedesis. Within about an hour of tissue damage, the phagocytes begin to destroy the invading microorganisms by phagocytosis. After engulfing large numbers of microorganisms and damaged tissue, the phagocytes die, forming pus. The final stage of inflammation is tissue repair. The increased delivery of nutrients and oxygen from vasodilation aids in this process. Other components of the blood lead to the formation of blood clots, which seal off the site of injury. The migration of phagocytes and other factors to the site of injury usually results in the destruction of microorganisms. Phagocytes directly attack the microorganisms, but other components of the body's defense systems, such as the complement system, are also involved. Even if destruction of the injury-causing agent is not possible, inflammation helps to limit the effects of the agent by confining the agent and its byproducts to the site of injury. This is accomplished through the clotting that occurs during tissue repair. Inflammation leads to repair and replacement of damaged tissue when possible. Different tissues have different capacities to regenerate themselves. While the outer layer of skin is able to completely repair a small cut, leaving no scar, cardiac muscle tissue does not regenerate at all. The Certain immune system cells, such as macrophages and neutrophils, utilize phagocytosis to ingest and destroy invading microorganisms. These phagocytes attack and destroy invaders using chemotaxis, adherence, ingestion, digestion, and elimination. Chemotactic chemicals attract the phagocytes to the site of infection, and opsonins aid in adherence of the phagocytes to the surfaces of the microorganisms. The complement system is composed of several proteins that circulate in the blood serum. Activation of the complement system initiates a cascade of events that aids in the destruction of invading organisms. The complement system helps induce the inflammatory response and produces opsonins and chemotactic factors that aid in phagocytosis. Components of the complement system also directly attack the cell membranes of microorganisms, causing cytolysis.